Well, Jamation is uh, very much what the name implies. It's Dean and, and me talking about jam bands and <laughs> playing jam bands and hosting a lot of live bands. And You're oddly formal in your... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, the best part of the show is Jeff. <laughs> I, get to, I get to rip on Jeff in person. You know, what I've described it in the past is uh, I'm sort of like the play-by-play -play guy and he's the color guy. It is Jamation starting things off with Percy Hill Live coming off the album of the same name. And that was 3.13. Dean Budnick, welcome back to the show. Jefferson. Exciting week here. I thought last week was an amazing show. And, and we rarely say that. Brownie and the Barber talking over their own music. Yeah, you said, actually, you said this off the air. The very last segment that they did, you said you had chills, man. I think we're going to top it this week. With any luck, because not only do we have our patron saint, Andy Herrick, not only do we have Mr. Regent Howard, who actually has sat in your chair, or my chair, when you've been out. He's co-hosted the show in absentia, but... And not only do we have, of course, Adam Terrell, who is a fine guitar player, and John Lassess, who also, you know, performs with Percy Hill, but Mr. Jefferson Waffle. We have the author of that very song you just played on the air, Mr. Nate Wilson. It's been two and a half years. We finally got Nate. Another first year on the big show. Yeah, we want to thank our sponsors, uh, Magic Cat Brewery. Visit magiccat.net. By the way, Dean, big news. For Magic Cat. Oh, and Magic very Cat. exciting! We're on the on the side of the on the uh, on the, on the label. label of the brand new high PA. But it says "Cheers to Jamnation" right on there. Jeff Seven. Waffle, Jeff Waffle, check two. Bus driver found and three sets of three. Right. And, uh, AOD, as they're being called on the scene. Indeed. So they're yeah. going to be taking the airwaves in about uh, twenty minutes or so. I'll say you're listening to uh, Richard Allen, the Assembly of Dust on Jam Nation. You know, easy, but when, I, when he's not here um, on the show and I'm here by myself, for instance, I've been here with, uh, with Reed. And it's, he, what he does is really hard. It's really easy to sit on the other side of the table and just give him shit. But uh, he does a great job. And, you know, I think it's, it's easier to be the guy who gets the bus balls than the guy who has to be serious. That doesn't mean you can, you know, do like this thing. But, uh, I do that on the air a lot. <laughs> And, and, and on the contrary, uh, it's great for me when I'm running around doing all that technical stuff and don't prepare something to say on the air, where I can just throw it to Dean and help have a story off the top of his head. Yeah, on a good week, we're like an old married couple. On a bad week, we're like an old married couple. But aren't are we in one right now? We are. We are filming one right now. Digital dust, I don't know what number, but, but uh, we figured it'd be cool to, it's, it's behind the music, Jam Nation. There you go, you know, just because we're in one doesn't mean we're in one, though, Jeff, because, you know. Until we're in it, we're not in it. We could wind up on the editing room floor every time. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that for my face for radio. Well, the first time they came on, they were great. But 
you know, I'd seen Reed and Strange both, and it wasn't that different at the time. I mean, now it's a completely different entity. But when Nate joined, it, it just gave it more of a, a jazz flavor and, and it made it into a totally different sound than I was familiar with. From, you know, I'm getting serious again. But, no, but I'm with you on this one. I'm, I, 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 I jump in if I disagree.